In this video, we're going to go over just a couple of functions that might help you out. Uh, one is to be able to format numbers with the, as many digits after the decimal place as you'd like. And the other one is the uh, constant that can be used for pi. So here we have just simply a compute the volume of a sphere. So we want somebody to be able to enter the radius of a sphere, and we're going to compute the volume. What I have here is <clears throat> a JavaScript. And I've already put a listener here to happen on, um, on the load. It's going to call in here. I used an anonymous function and wired up, um, added a listener to the button that on click it would call this function. So here I have a named function and here I have an anonymous function. So what I want this function to do is to get radius. So the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So I'm going to need that radius. And we're going to be getting it from this text box where id is equal to radius. And <clears throat> notice that we can just do this straight up. We can say equals and just go get that. Get element by id. That text box in radius and get the value that's in it. So whatever they enter. We're going to get that value, and that's going to be the radius. And then we're going to need to compute the volume. And uh, the volume is going to be equal to 4 thirds times pi. Now you can use some value for pi, right? 3.14159, or some kind of estimate. Uh, any value we use for pi is an estimate. But there's one already in there. It's in uh, math, and there's lots of functions under math. You might want to look those up for all the different things that you can do with that particular object. There's just uh, lots of constants and some functionality that you can do with that object math. And one of the constants is pi. So it's just math.pi, all cap. And then radius cube, and here that's um, Radius times radius times radius. It's a little bit faster uh, to do that much multiplication than it is to call a power function. So there we computed volume. And then we simply need to output it to that other text box. So we just get that other text box, dot, 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 get element. And this time we're getting the one with ID set to volume. And we're going to set its value to volume. And I'm going to save that. And so really, we just get the value, store it in radius, compute the volume, and then take that volume and store it out in the text box. And now I'll put it to the text box. So let's go there and put that in. So we put the radius at 4, and we compute the volume. Ah, and look what we get there. <laughs> OK, so the volume of that sphere, sphere is 268 point, a whole bunch of different numbers. So let's go ahead and play with this for a little while. What we want to do is just say, how much precision do we want? And the way that we can do that is with the two fixed. Uh, and this is uh, just, it doesn't change the value of the variable, uh, but we can just do object.method formatting. So we just do volume dot and the function method that we're going to call is two fixed. And inside here, you identify how many digits after the decimal place do you want to use. So let's say that we want three. And we save that. And we go back and now we put in four. And we only get that many. We get exactly how many we wanted. Now how many, now let's look and see whether it uh, if it truncates or it rounds. So we can just simply test this. All right, let's go back to where we're getting quite a few. And if I put four in, and right there, that two was rounded up because that five was right there, right? Let's go ahead and see if five, if we do four digits, if that will round up. And we would expect if it's going to round up that that would be 2, 6. And sure enough, 
And then let's see what happens if we only get these two, and if it's rounding, uh, then that should stay 0 0.08. This allows you to simply determine how many of the digits you want to show. Remember, it is not changing the value of volume of the variable at all. So all of the precision that's available is still there. And sure enough, so it rounds. So a nice little function there to identify how your output looks.